Good morning, children. In today's session, I am going to take class of seventh standard science. That is unit one, light. So already four lessons we have completed, children. This is the last lesson for you. Light we are going to see now. So have the book and take page number two. Okay. Now, first sources of light. Okay. First, we are going to see about the sources of light. So in that first is natural source of light. Another one is artificial source of light. Okay, how many children? Natural and artificial source of light. First, we are going to see natural source of light. Sources which emit light naturally are known as natural sources of light. Emit means it gives light. Okay, emit. Sources which gives light or emits light naturally. Here के आगे भी नमक के light पुर कर दे. That is called as a natural source of light. The sun is the primary and the major source of natural light. So in the morning and all we get from where do we get this light from the sun. So sun is the primary source and the major source of the light. Star also produce light in the same way as the sun. So as the sun gives light, even stars are also look bright, right? Stars also give us light. However, as they are much farther away than the sun, farther means durama. Sun and the star are very far away. So, we have to get the light from the sun. So, the light from the sun is too weak. That is, we have to get the light from the sun. So, the light from the sun is too weak. So, the star also gives light, the sun also gives light. But, the sun is the primary and the major source of light. But, the stars also give light. But they give from the further, okay, from far. They give us the light, so they become weak. The moon provides light, particularly in the night. So in the morning, sun; in the night, moon. Okay. Some living organism have the ability to produce light. So not only the sun, moon, and the stars; even the living organisms also have the ability which gives light. For example. Fireflies. Min mini bochi ke mensa rolle. Aunghi nindra mak light varde. Ye ad night la the fireflies parakum boda. Aunghi nindra mak ka ena kadi ke the veli chong kadi ke. So we get the light. So this is a living organ. Then jellyfish. Then some of the sea plants also uh, gives emits light. Okay. Then artificial source of light. Apart from the natural source, light can also be produced artificially. Not only natural but also artificially. There are different light sources. That are able to produce light artificially can be put under three broad categories. So the artificial you have three categories. One is that is artificial sources are man man-made light sources such as flame of candle. Candle na meri gwati adhna mande. Patta vai ke mada na adhna mag fire vardhiya flame of candle. Then incandescent lamp. Then neon lamp, sodium lamp. Neon lamp, sodium lamp. Bila, nama mandu, kita bulb use pandu oleh, adalah sodium lamp atau neon lamp. Okay. Now first is the incandescent. In candescent, then gas discharge sources. Gas discharge. So that is incandescent. So when certain objects are heated at high temperature, when they are heated at high temperature, they begin to emit light. Uh, the glowing of hot iron rod is a kind of incandescent light. For example, light bulb. इधर अलग हमें light bulb पूरा नमर्त कला. अलांधे नल्ला नमर switch on पन्ने बोधे. अधे ना देरी इधर लिया. आसुन the full high temperature लर्क बोधे. When it is heated to a high temperature, they begin to give or emit light. Then gas discharge sources. Passing electricity through certain gases at very low pressure can produce light. That is, passing the electricity through certain gases in a very low pressure can produce light. For example, neon lamp, sodium lamp, even the street lights. Street lights are also sodium lamps. Sorry, that. Then properties of light. In this section, we shall examine some properties of light. Light has some fundamental properties. First is rectilinear propagation of light. So rectilinear propagation, rectilinear propagation is nothing but a light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. 
only that is a rectilinear propagation that is only a light travels along a straight line without any interference going straight line okay that is called as a rectilinear propagation next reflection then speed then interaction of light okay the light interaction then types of material according to permeability permeability means quantity according to the types of material according to their quantity then formation of shadows how the shadow forms then plane mirror and the images images means a pictures which are seen in the mirror okay then spectrum spectrum means distribution okay distribution of um, light then next we'll go to the pinhole camera a pinhole camera is a simple device which helps to understand the rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear what i said that light travels in a straight line then the above picture shows a model of a pinhole camera now this is a tree okay now this is x and this is y and here okay now this is a tree it's inverted position and this is o okay pin hole and this is y and this is x okay x o x and y o y and this is a inverted image tala kiran solran ya inverted image now we'll see this now the above picture shows a model of a pinhole camera o is a small hole by a pin so you have to put a small hole in the box okay small hole that is o then xy is a object xy this is an object xy is an object that's a tree is an object then xy and the yx is the image of xy idu nama tree irukku liya adoda image adoda picture nama yx that is on the xy thalakida irukumbodhu eppadi varum yx a varum illaya so yx is a image of xy as light travels in a straight line one light from the x travels along the x o strikes the screen x x la rendu the nera and the light travels in a straight line and strikes the screen yes same way another light starting from y travels along the y o strikes the screen y purida y la ox light travels in a straight line forms xo and strikes the screen x same way y travels in a straight line forms yo and then strikes the screen y now all the rays in between x and y falls on the screen between y and x and the light rays ellame y ku x ku nadula da padudhu seriya then thus yx becomes a image of xy xy oda image enadhu yx so the image produced is temporary for simple paper use temporary na konja nerathukku da adha simple paper nama use pannona na konja nerathukku da use pannalam but the image can be made permanent permanent ah vekkana na if the paper is replaced by the photographic plate adukku badala photographic plate irundhuchuna adu permanent ah ve adu irukum okay now reflection a mirror reflects our face okay this is pinhole camera i said um next we are going to go to the reflection now reflection is reflects our face a still water body like a pond reflects the scenery around adha pond irukku thanni kola irukku pinadi adu sutti enna enna irukko adu apdi and thanni la theriyum adha da reflection illaya then we see our face in the mirror we see the light rays from our face bouncing off the surface of the mirror namu vandu ஒரு கண்ணாடியில் நம்ம க முஞ்ச பார்க்குறோன்னா நம்ம ஃபேஸை பார்க்குறோன்னா அது எப்படி அந்த லைட் பவுன்ஸ் ஆகி நம்ம மேலே விழுந்திருந்தால் விழுறதுனால தான் அந்த மிரரில் நம்ம ஃபேஸ் தெரியுது புரியுதா தென் த லைட் ஃபாலோயிங் ஆன் த மிரர் இஸ் கால்ட் இன்சிடென்ட் ரே அந்த லைட் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் இஸ் கால்ட் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் ரே அதாவது த லைட் ஃபாலோயிங் ஆன் த மிரர் அந்த லைட் மிரரில் விழும்போது தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் அ இன்சிடென்ட் ரே ஓகே and when it is reflected the tirupi on the mana nam vandu vilum bodu that is called as a reflected ray okay these are the two rays incident ray and the reflected ray now first we'll see the incident ray now this is 
okay this is o this is p and this is q n this is incident ray incident ray reflected ray reflected ray then this is angle of incidence angle of incidence and angle of reflection okay now first incident ray okay the ray of light that falls on the surface of the reflection materials that is in figure p o that is where is p p o this is a incident ray the ray of light that falls on the surface of the reflection material that is p o is a incident ray what is that p o is incident ray then reflected that is the ray of light that comes from the point and the incident ray falls on the reflection material that is o q this is a reflected ray which is a point of incidence the point of which that is incident i said next is point of incidence is incident ray strikes the point of incidence of o a o is a point of incidence o is a point of incidence okay o is a point of incidence then what is normal the perpendicular line drawn from the incidence the plane reflecting surface is called normal n is normal so o n n is a normal okay n is a normal then angle of incidence the angle formed between the incident ray and the normal o n incident ray what is p o and the normal is o n that is called as the angle of incidence and this is denoted by i that is like this okay same way angle of reflection that is the angle formed between o q and o n prida o q and o n is the angle of reflection and it is denoted by r okay that is uh, p o o n angle of incidence o q o n angle of reflection okay then what are the laws of reflection the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection is i equal to r okay then the incident ray the reflected ray the normal at the point of incidence lie on the same plane that is the incident ray the reflected ray normal and the point of incidence lie on the same plane okay now next is in the figure example we will see the incident ray makes 27 degrees with the normal then find the angle of reflection this is x b y okay then a d c this is 27 degrees and this is they have asked okay now what they have asked is angle of incidence is angle of incidence is 27 degrees according to the law of reflection what is the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is equal to angle of reflection so angle of incidence is equal means again 27 degrees only it's equal right so 27 degrees so angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection is 27 degrees is the answer do you understand that so according to the law okay then beam of light now genuine light is not a single ray okay but a bundle of rays which are called as a beam of light what is beam of light that is bundle of rays so light does not have a single but a bundle of rays that is called as a beam of light okay now a light beam can be a bundle of rays parallel rays convergent rays or divergent rays that is 
parallel rays then convergent rays and divergent rays okay these are the three rays which comes in the beam of light the rays of sunlight are parallel that is in a straight line okay often the headlight of the car gives parallel rays adavadhu namak head nama car varumbodhu and the light namak munnadi velum munnadi varadha parallel rays adhu mari sun oda rays namak munnadi da varum illaya all these comes under the parallel however look at the rays of light coming out of a candle ipo namak melugavathi one இது பண்ணுறோம் லைட் பண்ணுறோம் அப்போ என்ன ஆகுது நம்ம ஹோல் ரூம்க்கு வந்து அதோட லைட் கிடைக்குது இல்லையா ஸோ தீஸ் ரேஸ் ஆர் டைவர்ஜென்ட் ரேஸ் டைவர்ஜென்ட் விச் கம்ஸ் கெட்ஸ் அ ஹோல் தட் லைட் ரேஸ் நம்ம ஃப்ளாஷ் லைட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே இட் கே ஃப்ரம் த ஃப்ளாஷ் லைட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ டைவர்ஜென்ட் தட் இஸ் இட் கே ஃப்ரம் த ஹோல் தென் யூசிங் லென்சஸ் வி கேன் கன்வெர்ஜ் லைட் ரேஸ் தட் இஸ் யூசிங் லென்ஸ் வி கேன் ஃபோர்ஸ் sunlight at a point that is what we are making the light rays to convert that is looking at one point okay that is convergent rays next we will go to the speed of light the speed of light when lighting a bulb in a dark room or dark room irukum bodhu la vandu we are lighting a bulb light spreads a whole room quicker than when you go to the dark room and you switch on the light what happens a room is fully lighted okay it's very bright so light spreads a whole room quickly this is because the light travels very fast that is one light travels in a straight line and second light travels very fast light travels 3 lakh kilometers per second in air that is how many 3 lakh kilometers in theory nothing can travel faster than light so nothing can travel faster than light so lateral light travels in a straight line and light travels very fast okay the next depending upon the permeability or the quality materials can be classified into three categories that is transparent transparent translucent translucent and opaque these are the three materials what are the three materials transparent translucent and opaque first if we take transparent materials that allow light to pass through completely are known as transparent when travels and the light travels inside the transparent material completely that is called as a transparent for example eye glasses okay then clear drinking glass then clear water okay now transparent ah theriyum adala seriya then face glasses used in buses all these are transparent Now, for example, if you take a glass of water or if you take eye glasses, if we for example, glasses use water, and we have light full of pass over and then we have to clear it. No. Then translucent is partial. Partial is partial. We have to clear it. That is, objects that allow light to pass partially are called translucent. For example, we cannot see image of someone who stands behind a rough object. விண்டோ கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் உங்கள் வீட்டில் விண்டோஸ் இருக்குது இல்லையா அந்த விண்டோஸ் கிளாஸ் விண்டோஸ் இருக்கும் அது க்ளோஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கும் போது அவங்க பின்னாடி அங்கே ஒருத்தர் நிற்கும் போது நமக்கு யார் நிற்கிறாங்கன்னு க்ளீனாக தெரியாது யூ நாட் வில் நாட் நோ தட் கிளியர்லி யாரும் நிற்கிறாங்கன்னு மட்டும் நமக்கு தெரியுது இல்லையா அது தான் ட்ரான்ஸ்லூசன்ட் ஓகே வி கேன் நாட் சீ தேம் வி கே நாட் சீ தேர் ஃபேஸ் கிளியர்லி கிளியராக தெரிஞ்சால் தான் அது ட்ரான்ஸ்பேரண்ட் புரியுதா இதே நமக்கு வந்து பார்ஷியலாக பாதி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அந்த கிளாஸ்க்கு பின்னாடி ஒருத்தர் நிற்கிறாங்கன்னா சம்மன் இஸ் ஸ்டாண்டிங் தேர் வீ நோ பட் வி டோன்ட் நோ ஹூ இஸ் ஸ்டாண்டிங் தேர் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் அ ட்ரான்ஸ்லூசன் மெட்டீரியல் தென் ஒப்பேக் ஒப்பேக் மீன்ஸ் வி கே நாட் சி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஐ ஆம் ஹேவிங் அ புக் இப்போ நான் புக்கு உங்கள் முன்னாடி இப்படி வச்சுருக்கேன்னா ஐ கே நாட் சி ஆ ஃபேஸ் இப்போ எனக்கு முன்னாடி நீங்கள் நிற்கிறீங்க ஐ ஆம் கீப்பிங் திஸ் புக் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் இந்த புக்லேருந்து நீங்கள் உங்கள் ஃபேஸ் எனக்கு தெரியுமா தெரியாது பிகாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஒப்பேக் மெட்டீரியல் ஸோ நமக்கு இந்த பின்னாடி என்ன இருக்குன்னு நமக்கு தெரியாது அதுதான் ஒப்பேக் ஓகே மெட்டீரியல் தட் ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு அலாவ் லைட் டு பாஸ் புரியுதா இதுலேருந்து நமக்கு லைட் போகாது தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் அ ஒப்பேக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வால் ஓகே உங்களுக்கு வால் இருக்குது அது வந்து லைட் பாஸ் ஆனால் கூட நமக்கு அங்கே பின்னாடி என்ன இருக்குன்னு தெரியுமா தெரியாது ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ ஒப்பேக் ஸோ அது வால் திக் கார்ட்போர்ட் ஸ்டோன் ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் த ஒப்பேக் மெட்டீரியல் ஸோ ட்ரான்ஸ்பரண்ட் மீன்ஸ் வால் விச் அலாவ் த லைட் டு பாஸ் த்ரூ ட்ரான்ஸ்லூசன் partially allows the light and in the opaque material which does not allow light okay that is transparent is allow light to pass through and then translucent partially light is passed 
and opaque it does not allow light okay these are the translucent transparent and opaque okay now on this shadows you have then plane mirror reflection color prism this we have this will see in the i will continue this class in the next class student thank you